hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you how to make Belizean bread pudding okay let's get started so for this recipe you're going to need two cups of whole milk as always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. You're going to need one can of evaporated milk. For all my longtime followers and subscribers, I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for always being here. And for all the new people, I want to say welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would be glad if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is one can of sweetened condensed milk. Make sure you get every last little drop of milk out of your can. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Look at me coming back with my spoon. Every last drop. Next, you're going to need one third cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of melted margarine, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. 1 teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg Get your whisk and whisk this until everything is thoroughly mixed together I just wanted to taste it and make sure that everything is good and oh my goodness the thing is so nice it tastes like rum popo like I could have just drink that right so the last thing you're going to need is 16 slices of white bread I mean it wouldn't be bread pudding if you didn't have any bread right and I'm just showing you here that I'm using the back part of the bread also I don't leave out anything All you have to do now is tear the bread into small pieces and drop it into the milk mixture. Let's talk about bread pudding. Do you like bread pudding or do you not like bread pudding? If you do, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it. And I'm only asking because I know bread pudding is one of those things. It's like you either like it or you don't like it. And a lot of people don't like it because of the texture. They like the way it tastes but they just don't like the texture. And my hubby is one of them. He just doesn't like the texture. He thinks it tastes great but the texture is not for him. So guess what you guys, I have all this bread pudding to eat by myself, I know. Don't worry about me, that's not, a, that's not a problem, that's a good thing. But I have all this bread pudding, so what I did after I made the video, and eat a big slice of course, I cut up the bread pudding into portions and I freeze it. So whenever I'm ready for a piece, I'm just going to take one out and let it out. And then pop it in the microwave so it could warm up a bit and eat it and oh my goodness it still tastes like fresh bread pudding so after I put the first half of the bread in there I like to just use my spoon and press it down so the bread could soak up the milk and make space for the rest if you haven't been following me on Instagram yet you can do so at cooking with Shirani I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me. If you make any of my recipes, you can tag me on any of my social media at Cooking with Shirani, or you can message me privately. I always get a lot of messages from you guys sending me pictures of my recipes that you create. So thank you all so much. I love to see them. And I always answer everybody, so 
maybe one day I won't be able to do it but right now I can and I love to read all your messages and see all your pictures so thank you so much for doing that Again, you'll want to take your spoon and press down the bread so it could soak up all that milk and then you're going to let it sit there for a little bit. Right now it looks like that's not enough milk but it is. The more you press it down, the more the bread will soak up the milk and then it will start to mash up and that's what you want. Let this sit on the counter for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes is up, I'm going to take my potato masher and mash the bread. And especially the edges of the bread, as you can see those are sticking out. I want to make sure all that get mashed up. And I don't want any big pieces, I want everything to get mashed. And then I'm going to add a secret ingredient to it. You just want to mash this as fine as you can get it. You don't want to have any chunks in there. Okay, so the secret or not so secret ingredient <laughs> is some raisins and this just makes it so good. I just love when I get a bite of the bread pudding and then there's a little surprise and you get some raisins. And I don't like a whole lot of raisins in it because sometimes it could overpower the bread pudding but just enough raisins so you get a little bite here and there. Just scrape down your bowl and give that a really good stir and then we're going to bake it. Next you're going to grease your pan and I'm just using some cooking spray to do that and I'm using an 8x8 pan. Oh my goodness, I was struggling because this bowl was so heavy to hold up. Put this in a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven and let this bake for one hour. Test it with a toothpick and make sure the toothpick comes out clean. If it's not clean, you'll have to bake it some more. I was baking this late in the evening, so I'm going to let it cool down overnight. And then I'll come back and cut it and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the next day. And it does look a little bit different, but that's how bread pudding is. When it cools down, it always gets a little bit flatter. But I'm going to cut it so you can see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, oh, I could cry. No, not really. But look how good this looks, you guys. It's exactly how I want it. Oh my goodness. Bread pudding is my favorite. I don't know, so many things are my favorite though. I wish you guys could taste this, it's so good. I don't know how to describe it. The texture is like a Belizean banana cake without the banana. <laughs> 
but it's just so good well i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up that would really help out my channel it helps to get my videos out there and as always thank you so so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to do that and i'll talk to you in my next one take care bye